All right, I am back, y'all. Welcome, welcome back, everybody. How are you guys doing? All right, I am Shakia, the professor of Soloholics Anonymous and the product line, honestly speaking. And that finished a lot faster than I thought. I didn't realize I was on the last row when I was on last time. So I am going to um, cut this one off. I'm going to laminate this one again, but I'm going to start the other one as far as print and cut. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The one thing that I wish that the Roland had, like this one had, was a feed button, but there is not a feed button or like an option to just feed it through. So what I do to get this off and like to get started for the next one, we're going to go ahead and just open this, take the color, color that came with my laminator. And well, actually with this one, I just realized it doesn't even matter. So I'm going to take this out to put the other one in. So I just put it here, kind of let it run. Um, run up against this top edge or the back edge depending on how much vinyl I really want to waste and get that started cut that off and now this one can't let that touch all right, that one, I'm going to move over to the laminator. And I'm going to load the other one over here. So this one will get, oh, you guys can't even see that. My bad. That one will get moved to the laminator. And let me go to where it's just me. Can you guys hear me? Because I just realized that... Uh, Solo layout. There we go. Why is that? I'm all over the computer. So. Right. This, is a, this is a test to see if it will register with your stupid laminate on it. Normally, I don't have laminate over my registration marks. I cover them up and then I cut it off um, because it's just, I've heard that it acts super crazy. And I didn't want to take the chance of it acting too crazy. So to get this out, there is a lever back here. And you just take that. It turns the machine off. And I'm going to unroll that out of there. And I normally have some tape here, which I don't have my tape here. So that I can take that one down. So it does move. Where for art thou tape. All right, and then this one is not a really long one, but so I'm just gonna stick it. Actually, I'll bring it up through here. I have to move my computer a little bit. Although, actually, no, this I can go over. This one isn't that bad. I can go over here. When it's the long one, I pull it from in between there because it's normally sitting inside the box. But this one is fine. So I, for me, my little pinch rollers act crazy sometimes. So um, I do have it lined up to where the vinyl back here is pretty much lined up with where the vinyl is in the back. And I'm going to slide it through enough for it to somewhat catch so it doesn't slip and then i'm going to come back to the front and i pull mine in from the front actually i'm pretty good underneath my actually no this one isn't so i normally come to the front let me make sure that you guys can see okay yeah if i normally come to the front if i have to push it back i will and i guide it underneath the guys that are in there so i pull it through um and i need to push this over some so make sure that it is on there. Okay. And so the registration marks, you have to take that circle and there's like a little groove there. 
you have to put that circle right on that groove and that's for both sides. So you wanna check this side too because this did go in kind of crooked. So I'm just going to make sure that both of my registration marks are on these like little grooves that are there. Once it's there, we're gonna go ahead and take our lever and lift it up. And I'm gonna switch over to the other layout so that um, I can show what happens on the inside. So we're gonna take that and close it. And let's go ahead and switch the layout to screen share. Yeah, which let me bring the phone closer because I'm going off of this mic. Can you guys um can you guys still hear me? Because I am on stream share, but you guys should hear me through my phone. Um so I'm going to now come here. It was on print only because it wasn't going to cut. If you're not gonna laminate it, you would set it to print and print and cut. But I just set it to print so that I can laminate it. Now I go here and go to cut only. Um, and it's going to be ready to go. So my speed is at, I haven't changed this at all. It's at 13. My force is 103, which I'm going to take that up just a little bit, only because last time I had a little bit of trouble like popping them out, um, taking up a little bit. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh-uh. Why are you beeping? Que paso? Donde, eh, me know. Um, not donde, uh, get together. Um, why are you beeping at me? Why do I have a solid line? Uh uh, stop beeping at me. That's not nice. Oh, okay. That's why. All right. Let me switch back over so you guys can see what was wrong. Actually, I'm gonna make it exactly how it was before so you guys can see what was going on, why it was beeping at me. Um, let's go layout, solo, done. So this has to be in the right spot because if, the, if it's not reading, like, okay, let me go back here. Ooh, wait a minute, y'all. I'm gonna try to see my feet. So there are like these little guides, which this is really hard to do like this. I am so not just doing this like this. So there are these little guides here and here, and that lets it know like where it's at on the media. Well, what happened was this one was too far over. So I had to push it in, and we're gonna move the vinyl. You have to make sure that it's nice and flush on it. So it wasn't over, so there was a gap. This is the thing here that tells it where it's supposed to go. So because it didn't read that in the right spot, it was giving me an error. So now that it's in the right spot, I'm gonna put that there, but now I'm gonna have to reload it and make sure that it is loaded correctly because I moved it. And let me see. All right. So I'm gonna push that back out. I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and flush. And I'm going to pull mine. Ooh, and you can hear it when you hit sensors, which is not a good thing. All right, so that's there. I'm going to pull this under here. I'm going to make sure that this is where it needs to be. And you got to make sure that you're going underneath the guide. You don't want to push it up. All right, so now I'm on my guide. I'm gonna just slide it in. Oh, come on. For some reason I'm moving from, it went from underneath my guide. All right, so now I'm underneath my guide. My registration mark is lined up there. This one is lined up. This one is lined up. Just gonna make sure that's nice and tight. Lift the lever, close it, and it's going to read it again. So as it goes across, if it's reading that the media width is the correct size, it will give me a solid blue here. 
So how I knew there was something wrong, it was beeping and this was flashing. So now that it read it, this should go boom, solid. So you, like, it's it's that sensitive to where if, like where the job is and the media that it's reading, if the guides are in the wrong spot, it's going to give you an error for you to fix something. All right. So that's done. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and go over to the computer. Um, and so now we're here. We're going to go to cut only. Like I said, everything else is pretty much golden. I don't change anything on this. And um, everything, I, I won't have to change anything else because all that was done, you know, before. So we're on cut only. So I'm going to come off of, I'm going to hit OK on this. And we're going to be ready to cut. Right now, I think I'm looking at QB instead of QA. Oh, my gosh. Come on. All right. So, yeah, that's QA. And because it's ready now, you just tell it to print. So I'm just going to hit print. So even though it's cutting, you still hit print. So I'm going to go print. And it's just one because it's set to cut only. So it's just going to read those marks and cut. Um, printer is disconnected. Oh, it is. Oh, my bad. When I moved it, it disconnected. All right, so we're there. And we're going to go print. And print. And now it's going to read the marks, which let me hurry up and go. Oh, snap, it went right away. Hold on. Layout here. So it's going to read the registration marks. If it read those, fine. It's going to move to the next one. If it didn't read it, it would come back out. But it read those, fine. So it's going to go there. You have to make sure you have enough vinyl in the back so that it's covering the end of roll um, sensor. So it reads those. And then it's going to go back. If all is well. And it starts cutting. I know my shadow is messing it up, so. But yeah, it's going to cut now. And while that's cutting, I have the next set, the next one to laminate. So. I'm going to just go ahead and laminate that one now. Oh, and I just realized it read. That was the whole purpose of it, is to test to see if it would read with those, with the laminate on there. I need to make sure that it cut correctly. Yep. Yeah, so I can let it go with the limit. I know some people say they were having issues, but it looks like it's going to work, 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 work. So I won't have to worry about that. All right. Let's see if I can get this to, well, see, this actually should be cut pretty straight. Um, I'm going to see. Please don't mess up. I'm going to test it without taking it down. Nope, because it's definitely crooked. All right, if I line my registration marks up on here.
yeah, I think I should go ahead and tape it. I'm not going to mess with my system that has been working for me. I'm going to go ahead and tape this bad boy. Because it's working for me. Probably don't have to do this, but it's what works for me and my confidence in doing this. So we're just going to tape. I'm going to make sure it's lined up nice and square by making sure that I when I kind of line it up off of where my registration marks are, and I have too much vinyl at the top, that's another issue. Because now I can barely get in there, so now I'm just slide it back some. Tape came off and I felt it slipping. Oh, that's because my dumb self put the glossy side up again. Tape doesn't stick to the backing because it's meant to be non stick. Ah. Yes, Shakia, Shakia. Why would you do it that way? I did it again because I was on live. I put my paper in there and I did it again. And the thing that sucks, like that's the one thing I hate about that. It doesn't have a cutter to make sure that it cuts straight. And so I have a little bit on here. And if it doesn't go in and catches correctly, it Chips and that's not that's not good at all. All right, so I'm gonna line these up and then try to get. Ah, oh, that sucks. One side is definitely gonna catch before the other. At least now, oh wait, nope. There we go. That is going to drive me nuts. All right. I'm going to try and let it go in without my guide. I always like to have my guide. It's like an insurance policy for me. Oh, we're done cutting over there. All right. It's good. It caught. I hit run. And it's going to catch in a box that's 
down below. Oh, it's not done. So it's going to catch in the box that's below. So I just let that run. Actually, it didn't shift, so I loaded it good. So what are you caught on? Ah. get up there. It totally shifted. Why do you keep doing that? Keep coming up like that. I don't understand why it keeps attaching to the stupid bar. Oh, and now you're all crooked. Luckily, I'm almost to the end. Stop. But now that's making ripples. Oh, it's a good thing you're to the end. Oh, you're aggravating my soul. Let's make sure we put this down correctly, shall we? All right, let's see the damage. Yeah, we're still good. I just now have a bunch of stupid laminate I have to cut off. All right, but this one is done. So I'm gonna come over yonder. It's beeping because it's telling me it's done. Yeah. Oh wait, I was still too high. So, you stop the lesson, pull that out. And these are done. What I do for us, like for our thing, um, so that I can tell the difference between which one. So, all of my ones on white get cut in sheets. 
my clear ones gets cut in rows. So that way, when they're over there, because they almost look the same. So when they're over there, we know which one is which, and it's easier to tell and grab um, a clear one for white boxes and a white one for the brown boxes. So these will get cut down into sheets of, um, I think it's five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so sheets of five, like rows of five. So it'll be one sheet and then it'll be two sheets. And then that one is the same, although I think that one is four because they're bigger. But yeah, so for us for right now, until we have another, like we're going to get something to roll them up and we'll label them. But for now, the clear goes on, I mean, the color goes on sheet, or the white goes on sheets, and the clear goes, like I literally rip it down like this so that we can just peel them off and put them on our boxes and poly mailers. So there's that one. And I have to do this thing for my ball girl because they're going to be coming to cut their hair today. So I need to do that. Um, this I'm just going to roll up. And I'm good. And so with this, because it's in the queue on that one, it's not like a barcode like some of the others when you take it to a different cutter. This one, um, as long as it stays in the queue, um, I can take it back and just go ahead and cut it. And it'll read those registration marks. So it stores the registration marks. Um, this is going to take a long time to cut. And we actually don't need any more because... I was doing them because even thought he was going to need some more for all the orders from yesterday's sale, but we had just enough. So what I'm going to do now is prep the stuff for my barber um, and what I have to print and cut for him, which I could have let, well, no, I can't, I didn't need to leave that in there, but I'm about to put the white back in. At first I was going to print out our, our clear stickers. And that's why I said, I have to bring my other cutter in here because if I want to just keep printing, that's the one downside of this. If you're going to print a lot and cut like that, um, you definitely need two cutters because this is an amazing printer, but to cut, it takes a while. So um, you want to have two different ones if you're going to do like medium volume. So I'm not going to say high volume. If you have high volume, this ain't going to work, but medium volume, it is best to have the print this to be just your printer and then get a separate cutter. Uh, but yeah, so since they're getting their hair cut today, I'm going to set the stuff up for my barber so I can do his box and I will then come back and cut these. Um, and then I have to set up stickers for all of the winners. A lot of those, I have to do some stuff to them to get them like the right contour cut. So I have to set those up and I'm going to send, I'm going to send all of those to print at one time. I'm going to set them up in Illustrator where all 50 of them are set up versus doing it in VersaWorks. That way it can do both. Like, Well, all six people, it can do all of theirs, print them all at one time, cut them all at one time and go from there. So, um, well, I mean, you can like, as far as like, you know, if you don't want them to, um, it's like a, you can wait, not wait, but for what these are for, I've never had an issue with it. Some people, they do it so that like if it warps and stuff like that, I forget why they said like to let it gas out. But a lot of people say for the rolling one, you don't have to let it um, gas out, you know, like that. So I just put ours on there. These are for us. So we don't have any, I've never had any issue with it. All right. Uh, let's see. So it's a cold laminate. It's not a hot laminate. So this is the laminate. Basically, it's just it's just clear adhesive. Um, and we have glossy, matte, and luster. So it's just a clear adhesive. And this machine right here just basically rolls it on evenly. Um, ooh, stickers. I want to make and sell them. Had this idea for a while. Uh, it has a hand, but it depends on what type you buy. Some is thicker than others. It lasts quite a bit of washes, but that comes. Oh, wait, I think I missed something up here. There must have been another one. Um, 
Does the principal vinyl for HTV have a hard hand feel um, and how many washes before colors fade? Uh, the colors won't really fade, but it's vinyl. So the same way that you feel vinyl on your shirt, it's just vinyl and you can print to it. So it's, it's not like it's a different type. It is literally like regular vinyl. So if you're doing really, really big prints, it's going to feel like if you were to cut 650, not 651, if you were to cut easy weed and put a really big circle, it's going to feel the exact same way. Oh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm not sure about Max. I only use PCs. Wait, I'm so far. Let me go back up because obviously I'm behind on questions. Does the software work with Max? Yeah, I don't know. I don't use a Mac. I don't use a PC. Little tip, if you ever have a problem with it bunching to one side when printing, uh, just keep some roll of the vinyl so it pulls from that and not the roll. Um, oh, yeah, for that, yeah, I've kind of figured that out. But I haven't really had um, an issue with it, but yeah, I heard that to kind of give it a little, give it um, some wiggle room. Um, that's the printer I've been eyeing. Well, I have a link in the description if you want to get one. I have this set up with the metallic ink. I haven't used a metallic ink yet, but it's not, um, it's very expensive. I need to use it. It's like 200 bucks for that, $240 for that metallic cartridge, and I haven't even used it yet. Um, So, yeah. All righty, y'all. I am going to go now so that I can finish the one. I have to set up some stuff for the one for my barber and measure and all that kind of good jazz. So let me go to do that because I really don't know what time he's coming to cut their hair. But I need to make sure that I have it done before he gets here. Um, it's just vinyl. So it's literally Orajet. Uh, my first run of them, I printed it on the, the vinyl that I had, which was Oracle 651. You can print to Oracle 651. This is Orajet. I don't sell it. I'm not a, a reseller for um, Oracle products. So I just got it from my sign supply store. I got the really, really big roll and I had them cut it down to 20. And then I think the last one is, I want to say it's, wait, 2020. Oh God, I don't know. I think I may have three of them. And then like a 10, I forget how it comes, but however it comes, I got quite a few rolls for this. And then I still have one that I can use um, with my regular cameos. So I have just brought the really, really big one and I had them cut it down. I did that for my clear lamp, my clear vinyl, my white vinyl, and all three of my laminates. I purchased the really, really big one and I just had them cut it down. It was more cost effective that way because no one really other than Roland sells 20. So you have to have them cut it down. All right. Um, when I switch over to the clear ones, I have to leave the white in there because I need to do the one for my barber. But once I switch over to the clear final, I will go live again um, so that you guys can see how you change it. It's really easy. Like just changing the vinyl on the rod. I do want to purchase another rod because it's actually aggravating. I really I want to have a rod for my my white, a rod for my clear, and then another rod for um, principal uh vinyl for shirts because i'm sorry that's annoying as crap going back and forth it is annoying as hell and i ain't got time for it so i do want um another one and the link for the printer it should be in the description of this video i believe um i know if, if not it was definitely in the last one but it's in the link the link for it is in the description that one is the one that comes with the laminator and that one is for the cyan magenta magenta uh, yellow and black for that setup, C-M-M-Y-K. That means you're going to get two. So let me go over on this side. Here, you will get two magentas instead of silver or white. Um, unless you're going to really print stuff, like I wanted it for football helmets. Um, I kind of missed this season because I didn't get it set up till late, but they like the metallic for the football helmet. So I got it. I got the metallic mainly for football season. Um, probably when they go Super Bowl, I'm trying to end up selling some more. When certain teams go to Super Bowl, I'll end up making their helmet decals again. But with that one, I definitely need to, well, and that would be only be one game, so I can use the thinner laminate. But like for their entire season, I would need to use the heavier laminate because once they get hit and stuff, it'll get all messed up. But I do have the metallic. They have white. So unless you know for sure you're going to be printing to a lot of clear vinyl, I would not recommend getting white. 
just get the CMYK instead of getting the white one. And if you don't have a need for metallic, don't get metallic. Um, but yeah, that's that. All right. Um, let me make sure there are no other questions. You are welcome, my love. You are, you know, you can ask me anything, honey. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go so I can prep the one for my barber. Oh, let me get you off the edge because, honey, my laptop is my life. Later, guys. Until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible.